Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CS Africa, the last startup camp on the planet. Welcome to the Python Press Conference. My name is Henrik and I'm the Vice President of Marketing at Python. And here with, I welcome you to the future. To that we say, it's about time. It's about time that we all, you and I, stop wasting time while being stuck in traffic. It's about time that all facets of your digital world finally coexist in your car. It's about time because, yes, time is of the essence. Once spent, we are not getting any of it back. It's gone forever. This is why we at Biden are dedicated to giving time back to you, to taking the downtown, the lost time in traffic, and making it more enjoyable and productive. We are dedicated to giving you personal time to be yourself. We create time for you by leveraging the newest technology available so that you have your personal time to be. I see many familiar faces and also many new faces, which I truly appreciate. So to our old and new friends, thank you for joining us. You might recognize another familiar face with us today, the Biden and by concept, our first model we introduced here at CS Las Vegas last year. Today, it's here with the next member of the Biden family. Introduced last year at CS Asia in Shanghai, our second model, the Biden K Bike. And today, we're here to share with you the next phase of the Biden journey. And to officially get our journey underway, please welcome our chairman of the board, our CEO and co founder, Carsten Breitfeld and our president and co-founder, Daniel Kircher. Wow, so many people around here. So many people interested in Biden. This is really exciting for us. So I would give you, would like to give you a warm welcome to all of you, being investors, potential investors, media, customers, and fans. Yeah, it feels amazing to be back to uh, CS for the second time. I also wish all of you a happy new year. So the Biden team has been, has on, been on an incredible journey since we founded the company in 2016. In 2017, we officially launched the Biden brand. And exactly one year ago, we stood here on this stage for the world premiere of our Biden m -Bike concept. Yes, and today after one year, we now have two vehicles, the Biden M5 and also the Biden K5. And what you see here, the Biden M5 concept is 80 to 90% representative of the Biden M5, which you will see on the road by the end of this year. And today, our vision, which inspired us originally to set up this company, not even three years ago, to make the time you spend traveling by car more enjoyable and more productive will become a reality in 2019. It's the introduction of the biking and bike. In 2019, it's about time we deliver on our promise and we bring our vision to reality. So how could we achieve this? To design and develop the bike and m -Bite, we built upon our extensive automotive expertise and we created a tech company with digital technology as our core competency. To achieve this milestone, we went from thinking mechanically to thinking digitally. And the innovative and stylish Python M Byte delivers our vision. So ladies and gentlemen, please make up your mind and take a look. So the Biden M-Bike brings what we call 
the smartphone moment to the world of mobility. And it's doing so by combining two state-of-the-art platforms. The first one is our EV platform. It has a range of uh, up to 325 miles, along with an affordable starting price around 45,000 US dollars. And doing so, the right and end might provide functionality and capability for everyday usage. And it is ready for level three autonomous driving. The second platform is our own open digital cloud platform, which we call Byton Life. And Byton Life connects your applications, your data, and your devices to one ecosystem. So together, these two platforms transform those four wheels into what we call the next generation smart device, integrating all aspects of your digital life, all while on the move, or while standing still in traffic jams or whenever. So in other words, the Byte and M-Byte could become the most important device in your digital life, and we are very much convinced, convinced that it will do so. The Byte and M-Byte reinvents and transforms your journey through the use of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Yes, and thanks to these two platforms and their flexible architecture, this and all future Python vehicles will be capable and ready to embrace the mobility bigger trends, including electrification, connectivity, autonomous driving, ride sharing, personalization, and even the unimagined trends of the future. In the manner of speaking, the Python platforms are timeless solutions, because they are updated. This open-ended, flexible architecture makes Python a truly digital company, more than a traditional automotive company. In essence, we are a digital startup. We think digitally. It's all about ultimate customer experience and user experience. It's in our DNA. We are less attached to legacy solutions more focused on being nimble, agile, and finding creative solutions to mobility. We are also a global company that leverages locations with the best infrastructure, and we go where the best talent is. Our journey continues to be one of expansion, so we are building our global footprint. During 2018, we tripled our talent pool growing from 500 to more than 1,500 employees. And this is a very diverse group of highly talented, highly passionate and dedicated automotive engineers, user interface engineers, software developers, vehicle designers, and so on, for more than 20 countries. So how could we achieve all this? By thinking digitally and acting globally, we have just managed to bring MByte into a reality in only 28 months. A traditional company requires 48 to 60 months to take a vehicle from concept to production, just to give you an idea how a traditional car company is working. And in fact, when Byton MByte will roll out of the assembly line later this year, it will be only 39 months in the making. And I hope you would agree that we really call this speed to market. And it will be loaded with innovative features and capabilities. The Byton m -Byte is the first car to propel full connectivity on the go, thanks to multiple antennas, great bandwidth, and 5G compatibility. And there's yet another first among firsts. When you rethink the car, you must start with a clean slate. And when you put the users, so I'm talking about the driver and, and, and all the passengers, at the center of your rethink, then you will discover new possibilities. And when you think of the car as a central part of a user's smart device ecosystem, then the result can really be revolutionary. And that revolution is our right to remember. It will completely change your in-car experience thanks to groundbreaking user interface, new user interface, which is bold, intuitive, and intelligent. 
And now it's about time that you see what you will experience once you take delivery of your Byton and Byte and sit inside. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a world premiere. No one saw it before. I'm happy to present you the serial production user interface of the first Byton car or Byton M Byte. Enjoy. <laughs> This is what the Byton m -Byte will deliver. It gives me and the entire Byton team a great pride to announce that this highly intuitive user interface is truly ready for production. This user interface features a number of industry firsts from a technological standpoint. The centerpiece is our, we call, shared experience display, which is a 40-inch display, the first 40-inch display ever fitted into a car. Curved, high-resolution high display presents vital driving information like, such like vehicle performance and navigation and, and so forth. But it also displays digital content such as entertainment, productivity tools, contacts, health data, and all the digital products and services you are come to expect. The driver controls this display using another industry first. And this is a 7-inch multi-touch screen driver tablet, complicated name, which is mounted in the middle of the steering wheel. It will stand still while the steering wheel rotates. For a full interactive access by the front seat passengers, there's a console mounted holding an 8-inch high-resolution multi-touch screen, which we call the Byton Touchpad. And this system is the first of its kind to give driver and passengers five interaction points with the car. So you can use touch, voice control, facial recognition, hand gestures, as well as a reduced set of buttons. Finally, all of this functionality is made possible by the first Byton operating system, which we call BytOS. And this operating system brings digital content to life. Indeed, <clears throat> when customers first encounter this amazing, highly intuitive user interface, they might think, it's about time that the vehicle made my car more productive. It's about time that the digital ecosystem incorporated all aspects of my digital life. And it's about time that all those features are incorporated in a stunning interior design. Thank <laughs> you. 